Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. If you like my video, please like and subscribe. Also check me out on Twitch as Floyd Mason. I have the path memorized at least, which used to slow me down all the time because I'd go the wrong way. Um, stupidly. Oof, barely made that one. So to me, the hardest jump in the game is right near the start. So I used to have a very high or heavy restart rate down here. So that's what's, I think, going to kill me on the actual run. Like, I'm going to miss the other part. Obviously, I'm not going to do it, but I just find this part so difficult. It's definitely the hardest jump. So most of... The, there we go. Most of the good runners are already getting to the next um, item. So I'm already quite a bit behind. I think I think I was looking at uh, old schools earlier today just to get a sense of the timing. And I think like 113 was when he got to the uh, iron ball. But uh, again, you know, like these ju these jumps are hard. And I don't think everyone's going to hit them first try, so. We got this memorized again. Right. So, about 30 seconds behind. Getting there. Oh! I used to be able to do the trick. Um, Moniker caught me, taught me a cool trick, kind of bounce off there. But uh, man, I don't know what's going on with my stream. Like it hasn't died, I don't think. But uh, it keeps telling me, <laughs> it keeps telling me that uh, I'm going live again. So I don't know what's going on. I apologize. So the big trick here is to skip all of these spells. Um, so if you can get all the way to the bottom of this water section and then pop, you can just warp out. Did it? Ah, oh, man. Yeah, because my live time's still going. So it hasn't like fully reset, but it's struggling. I think I'm having just big internet issues, but we're only going to do a run or two of this just to make sure I remember how to get through. Um, you know, it is what it is for the race tomorrow. So, the big jump is skipping this bell, which I just can't do. Moniker's taught me how to do it. <laughs> also, hello, Cosmic. How are you doing? Um, so, I mean, but again, if you, hit, if you hit that bell, then you have to do this anyways. And if you accidentally pop down there, then you got to go back through that whole water part again. So, I mean, this part takes a minute, but, you know, it's, in theory safer in the long run because the other guys can warp right back to he to here basically so that lag I felt Alright, getting the Sky Zone. I'm also really, ba really bad at Sky Zone. So, like, they can do some really cool, just bouncy tricks um, that I cannot. No! Alright, well that's a dead run. Um, we'll try it one more time. I mean, I was basically there. After that jump, it just gotta go up the 
things, but uh, we'll give one more. Just see if we have a little better luck on that first jump. Um, I do have save states still, so I'll just practice it quickly before going on. Oh, I want that. Don't need it, but I want it. I waste time going for those, but I just am not confident with myself. Play this game too scared. Ooh, nice. Again, I practiced that one for a while before. Um, the community in this game is fantastic. Um, you know, uh, <clears throat> Moniker was great when I was learning it, dropping in, giving me a bunch of tips. Uh, old School was giving me a couple just reminder tips this morning how to play. Because um, it had been a bit. So he's kind of reminding me kind of some of the spots uh, for some of the jumps. Which, you know, it's always great. It's always great when other runners want other runners to succeed. It's kind of communities I like being part of. What's really cool, too, is I... I uh, See, look at that. Only nine seconds off kind of their time there, which is pretty good. Um, but one of the games I uh, I look after, Shira, which is a super cool game. Uh, somebody's actually learned it for the event and broke the world record, which is awesome. So cool. Oh, well, let go of the button. Foolish. Um, it's cool, you know? Like, just the event is making... You know, new runners to the ah, new runners to the game, and they're going around and setting records. It's kind of one that uh, I did. And I of course got Darth to do, um, and then we were lucky to get Beard and Zark doing it as well, because they give the games proper love they need. So there is a skip here as well, but I just don't feel comfortable making it. So we'll take this extra, you know, six second, seven second little excursion over here. You can skip from that end, but I am just so bad at it. And it's a pop if you miss it, so. Again, just for safety. I'm getting pretty good at not dying at this part, but I still do. So. I mean, I could probably get to that one without issue, but. Again, if you're going for the skip down there, you don't hit either of those two bells. So it's super dangerous. It's a real big time loss if you die near the bottom of this. <clears throat> this is a huge death spot for me when I started. I had so much trouble doing this. More cautious than need be. Let's make the jump this time. There we go. All right. So you can do like a combination of kind of like pounds and double jump. So they kind of like double jump off of that the block up there and skip that left or that right one and here as well and I just can't do it very consistently so safety but we're basically there definitely gonna beat six minutes which is nice as long as we don't pop right here there we go um, it's pretty close to my PB I mean Getting around five is about the best I'm gonna do. So if I'm five to six, you know, and maybe they pop or you know, have a pop or two more than me, maybe I'll maybe I'll sneak in a third one of the two rounds, but uh you know, it's a super fun game. Pretty short. Um Thanks for watching. Please click to check out my other videos, like and subscribe, and come by Twitch under Floyd Mason to join my live streams.